Hello everyone, I am Venrith and welcome to some Train Sim World. So today I'm going to do some of the East Coast way. Uh, I'm going to do one of their scenarios, I think. Yes. So I'm going to start with the first one, French Connection. So complete the final leg of a boat train service connecting London with the Dieppe factory operating out of New Haven. So I'll be using a class 377-4SN. So this is gonna be the route obviously that I'm gonna be able to take and let's just get on with it and see what happens. French connection. Wow, these trains look awesome. Welcome to Lose. A boat train service has arrived from London and you're tasked with operating the last leg down to New Haven Harbour. Okay. It's off. Wow. This game is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Right. Let's go in through this way, I think. Oh, oh, oh hello. No, not that, one. not that way. That way. Yeah, cool. Right. Set the master key to on. Fair enough. Select the direction to forward. Uh, there we go. Lock doors. So we'll lock them. Wait for that to go blue. That was the door that I entered through. There we go. Apply power to get moving. Okay, so let's go. Whoa, hang on. There's a red signal there. Oh, Contact signal, denied, no route available. Almost failed as soon as I got started. That was a close one. Right, okay, now I'm allowed to proceed on the yellow. Oh, I've got a reward for using the horn. Cool. Right, we've got another red signal coming up in over 600 yards. So we won't go too fast. I'm just going to cruise probably slightly under the speed limit. Aha! Now you can see the next signal's changed to yellow. So that should allow us to speed up a little bit. And it's now gone green. So the train that's ahead of us is now completely clear of the next block. So I'm just going to put a bit more power on. Let's get up to speed. It is a passenger run. And passenger runs are determined by time. A bit more time constraint compared to freight runs. So let's keep to sort of the speed limit. I don't want to go over the speed limit. I just want to stick to it. Okay. We can go a bit faster now. We've got some more. The highest speed limit. 60 miles per hour. So we'll just get up to speed. Oh, doesn't this look gorgeous? Doesn't this look gorgeous? That wasn't a good view, was it? Oh, hang on, we've got a 40 coming up. Let's break, break. That's going to be me speeding. Oh, that was close. That was close.
So I now can pick up speed again. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. In fact, let me just take a uh, oh, speed. Lovely. Right, so I'm sitting just below the speed limit, but uh, I don't really want to risk. I'm going downhill actually, so I'm picking up speed. So I'm just going to have to watch this. I do not want to go above 70, so I'm just going to put a little bit of brake on. Drop a couple of miles an hour off that. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, speeding. And it's put it in emergency, which means I'm stopping whether I like it or not. Ah, I've messed that up. I have messed that up big time. Darn it. Right, let's just see if I can quickly uh, correct this. Off, put that back in forward. There we go. So once you've accidentally hit the emergency brake you've got to sort of like put it into leave it in sort of like brake turn it back off then put it back into forward and then you can bring it down and apply some power so that has uh, made me very late I'm going to get right ticking off for that I was too busy taking photos Oh, well. Was it W for whistle? Probably because that cross in there. So I've got 1.7 miles before I have to slow right down. That's the thing, when you're not used to the actual route, sometimes you get these sort of slower speed limits just sprung on you if you're not paying attention. And um, when that happens, yeah, <laughs> you do get caught unawares. So, you know, one of the good things to do is to just learn a route and then you sort of like, you, you kind of know when you have to sort of prepared to slow down and you can actually get really good at some routes because of that just by gaining a bit of knowledge of you know where you are in the world so I'm just applying some brake now to sort of slow myself down a bit because we've got the 35 mile an hour speed limit coming up
So I'm just putting all my concentration into getting to 35 miles an hour. Like so. Just before the uh, speed limit comes into effect. Beautiful. Little bit early, but you know, after my last uh, little mistake. Better safe than sorry. Right, we have got a yellow signal coming up. And I do believe that means I'm taking a point to the left. So I'm still within the speed limit. You see that uh, little yellow signal, well, yellow icon in the top right. And it's kind of like pointing to left, like you have to take a point to left. I don't know if that's the case or not. I'm just guessing. So I'll slow down to 20. Maybe that wasn't the case actually with the point. I'll have to do a bit of uh, research on the signals for this route. So, oh, I did make it in time. Awesome. I try and stop as close as I can on the mark. Four, three. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. The ferry to Dunkirk is docked just across from the station. Passengers can now make their way over and prepare for boarding. Okay. Do you want me to open the doors? Yes. Unlock. Now, I'm wondering if I'm going to be asked to switch ends. There's a ferry. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, yes. Right, wait until 12 minutes past 9 and 30 seconds. Do, 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 do. Right, lock doors. That's it for this run. Thanks for lending a hand. Oh, is that all? Awesome. Uh, you're welcome. Hey. Right, so as you can see from the stats window, the green line is my speed, the red line is the speed limit. We were doing pretty well. We had a little close shave there, I think. And a little close shave there, definitely. A bit too much of a close shave just there. Uh, kind of went, that's where I hit the, um, right of the speed limit and it hit the emergency brake. As you can sort of see, where it just tanks. And then there's me trying to get back up to speed again. So, but I still earned a gold medal for that, actually. Um, I did make it in time, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Brilliant. So, I think... Next time, I will uh, do the next scenario, which... Could be another interesting one. So... Thanks for watching. Now, you know what? It's quite early. It's only been 15 minutes. Let's hit this one. Let's do a loose connection. Let's do a double whammy.
Oh, it's raining. Welcome to Eastbourne. The duty today is to operate a semi-fast service to Brighton. Climb aboard and prepare for departure. Right, for some reason I've got an issue with my keyboard and mouse. I like, I start moving it, it just stops moving it. So I have to keep like spamming the shift button to get to the other end. It's not a problem once you're already on the trains, but uh, when you're trying to move, it's a bit awkward. I don't know whether that's this DLC or whether that's just something with my computer. I guess I'll have to find out. I've done it before though, so it might just be something wrong with my end. Okay, so we've reached the end of the, the train here. Open the door, get in the seat. There we go, close the door. It is raining after all. Set the master key to on. The reverse to forward. Unlock doors. Awesome. Oh, that's an actual whistle. Cool. I'm just looking through some of the buttons. There's the sand. AWS button. Wants to turn it on. Hazard lights. <laughs> what do you know? I've never seen that in a train before. Okay. So that's obviously the door control panel for the right hand side. And that's the door control panel for the left hand side. Oh. Am I messing about and getting late? Apply power to get moving. Stop at location Hampton Park at 12.50 and 30 seconds. Right, now I need some wipers. Why is my wipers not working? There we go. Oh, that really is intermittent. Right, so we're now moving. Which is nice. It's a sort of sunny but rainy day. Oh, this this looks nice. So once the back of the train reaches that high speed marker, I'll be able to put on the power. Because you can't speed up until the rear of the train actually passes the speed post. There we go. Oh look, carriage washing facilities. Cool. So I'm just getting the power on. See if we can get to Hampton Park in time. So that's the uh, third rail for the electric power. Looks like the uh, 70 mile an hour speed limit is in force until after the station. So that's kind of cool. What I'm gonna do now is get ready to slow down. So this is the bit that I'm going to struggle with is trying to stop on the mark.
not careful. I'm going to be late because I'm going to be too careful coming in. So we're going to hit this hard. Okay, that's not too bad, not too bad. I am late though now by a few seconds, which is annoying. That's what happens when you come in a bit too uh, carefully. So I'm loading the passengers, as you can see from the top left. Just waiting for them to get on board. takes up the whole length of the platform, that does. Right, we're going to have to get a move on to get back on time. Right. Pole gate. Let's go. Twelve fifty six. Right, max speed. Let's go. I really enjoy the weather effects in this game, especially like the snow setting. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. So in one mile, I've got to slow right down. So in order to keep on time, I'm going to try and time this a little bit better. So I'm going to slow down slowly. And then get more aggressive towards the actual point where I need to. Okay, now I need to get a bit more aggressive on those brakes. Oh, that was close. That was close. I don't think I could have got any more aggressive on those brakes if I tried. Yeah, that was a split second, that was. I didn't think I was going to make it. So obviously there's a really sharp corner there, that's why you have to slow down. Look at these gardens. These houses with gardens. Now I can speed back up again. But not for long, because I'm going to have to slow down again. Twelve fifty-six. Okay. I've made some time up. Right. Try and stop on the mark. To get as much points as possible. Close enough. Unlock all the doors on the left. That's where we are on the map. So 
So, did we leave there? No, it must have come down that way. I can't remember. No, it must have left there. We'll soon figure it out. Right, wait until 20. 12.56. What I'm going to do is... Should I lock? No, I won't lock the doors. Yet. Oh, look. This is one of the uh, collectibles. If I can get around that. See those empty boards there? I think you have to walk up to that to put it on. But, because I'm on a sort of very constrictive time schedule... I haven't got time to do that. You can see where the uh, electrical pickups are, even that's modelled. How cool is that? I think that's the rubber cushion, I think that's to sort of stop the electric going up into the thingy. I believe, I could be wrong. It's now time to lock the doors. Oh. Oh, a door has failed. I've got to move from the dodgy keyboard. Move out the way, people. Move out the way. Emergency. Emergency. Out the way. This is a narrow platform. There we go. There we go. Continue the service and try to make up for the lost time. Uh, if you let me leave a few minutes earlier, I won't be late. Help me away, please. Driver coming through. Excuse me. Wait. Out my way. Out my way. Oh, ticket machine. Hey. I've added a collectible. Right. Let me. Whoa. What the... No, let me in. Let me in. What the? Oh dear. Oh dear. This is not good. This is not good. It's all gone horribly wrong. It's all gone horribly wrong. Let me in. Oh heck. I can't get back on board. Oh no. It started moving. I can't get on board. It won't let me. Um. Bye, everyone. Oh, dear. That's, uh... That's... Interesting. I can't even... I can't even... On. It just won't let me. And it won't let me open these doors either. Oh dear. Um. Goodbye everyone! Uh... Yeah. There's not much I can do about that. Ah, I wonder. <gasps> oh. Uh, let me in, let me in before I run a red light. I've definitely lost time now. Uh, forward. Off, forward, break off, release the pressure. 
Hey, now we're really, really late. That was not my fault. I did not expect the train to start running off. Oh dear. Right, I'm going to fly through the station. I've got to get there in two minutes. I'm going to cover 3.8 miles in two minutes. That is not happening. I do believe I might be getting sacked at the end of the day. Note to self, next time lock the door from the inside. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Very interesting indeed. Now I've got one minute to cover three miles. That ain't happening. I probably lost about two minutes there, just trying to uh, get back on board. Not good. Very nice. Look at the air. Uh, the angle of that train. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. However, I am now 15 seconds from being late. I would have been on time if the train hadn't rolled off. I'm speeding now, so let's get back below the speed limit. I'm not. I might leave. I might leave the train in neutral with the brakes off and get out, but I won't speed. Yeah. Priorities. Obviously, get, we're going down the hill a little bit here. That's why I'm picking up a bit of speed. We're going to have to slow down a bit in a minute as well. Let's shed 10 miles per hour. overshoot this station I'm going to overshoot the station and I've accidentally hit emergency oh this is not going to plan this is not going to plan oh that's not going to plan it's gone slightly wrong oh dear I think that still counts though what's what I do have to do. So I've reset, put it off, pulled the brake down, turn it back to forward. I'm definitely getting sacked at the end of the day. That is terrible driving. Okay, stop it. Glind? Is that Glind? At 308. Well, I can definitely say I've had a 
better drives, but uh, it's been entertaining. Oh, speed set. Interesting. Train car length. Cool. Where was that with the horn button? Cool. Right, so we're going full pout again. Let's see if we can get this back on track. I'd be shocked if I get gold this time. So we've got another speed limit drop coming up. In 1.4 miles. We've got a 10 mile an hour speed drop. Which is not going to help. But we'll manage. We've got one minute, 30 seconds to get there. the speed limit okay so we've got 1.1 miles to the station i'm just gonna have to feather the braking a little bit because we are going downhill we do not have long left lots of crossings I think I'm going to have to come in relatively hard again. No, not emergency. Damn it. Right. Oh no, come on. I've got to get used to that, make sure I don't keep clipping the emergency brake. There we go. Slightly late because of that. So what happens is, because I'm moving it forward, you've obviously got, on the brake, you've got three notches, and then it's emergency. And of course, as I'm spamming the button on the keyboard, I generally spam the button one too many times. And then I end up in emergency braking mode. Which means, whatever happens, you're stopping. And you're not moving again until you play about with the direction switch. Right, lock doors. Right, next stop is at 13.13. So I haven't got long to get there either. Just three minutes. I 
put the rain on the windows. <laughs> Right, full speed. We need to make some time up again. That's the thing with this game. If you play freight, you're not generally on, on like a, a time constraint, so you can go as steady as you like. Um, but with passengers, your schedule is very strict. And I mean very strict. So you have to kind of be a bit more on the ball. So we're coming up to a 70 mile an hour speed limit in a minute. So let's slow that down a little bit. There we go, just in time. Oh, and we've got a 60 coming up as well. Keep the brake on then. Let's keep the brake on. There we go. Oh, and now we've got a 40 coming up. Now just keep, keep the brakes on then. Keep the brakes on. Okay, this 40 mile speed limit is actually quite soon, to be fair. There we go. Just come around this corner. Oh, and then we're into 20, Blimey. Let's just cruise around this corner. Right now, we'll try and slow down a bit. Get to that 20 mile an hour speed limit. There we go. Well, I'm speeding. Oh, that was a really sharp bit of track. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're coming into main station here. Oh, this looks nice. I love the like the sort of like triangular station. So you get two different directions that you can possibly go. So I am definitely late. Oh well. This time doors are on the right. I've got to stop right on the mark because there's the red signals. And there's my stopping place. With the disruptive schedule and potential for the door fault to recur, we'll be terminating the service here. Mm. Probably best, given my track record. I'll be honest, I've not had the best run. Speeding is one thing, emergency braking is another thing, but uh, yeah. Getting out of the train and letting it roll off in the wrong direction. Not my best move. So we'll load these passengers. And then... Yay, we're done. Debriefing, performance evaluation. Oh dear. 
So my stop accuracy was pretty good there. It's not showing it there, so that must be because I was just late. Well, my stop accuracy was pretty good on the first two. That one was just like, yeah. But I did earn a gold medal. How cool is that? Very cool. Right, so that's it for this time. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.